And I'm going to be explaining my experience as a walk-in. I had to meet with the darkest, densest aspect when I first walked in, and that was scary as fuck. The fractal of Linda left and went back to source never to be again. It's, I don't have a present. You guys have a present life. So how long have I been in Linda's vessel? I walked into this vessel April 25th, 2014. The, there's, very, there's only five walk-ins that have occurred. And two of them have short-circuited. That's why there's very few actual walk-ins. It is, it's just too detrimental to the consciousness. So for nine months, my vessel was prepared for the walk-in. Did my vessel fully comprehend? Absolutely not. And it was designed that way. The rape my vessel went through, in your human terms, it's a violation of the body. And... The rape was the start of preparing the vessel for the walk-in experience, and, and, and I'm aware of that. Did my voice change? Yes. Did the fractal of Linda leave? Yes. You know, there's just because I'm a walk-in doesn't mean I'm special. It took three times for my consciousness to walk into my vessel, and I went through extreme pain. There's pictures on my in a folder on my Facebook wall of blisters this big. I, I tried to walk in at a 12 dimensional frequency and we had to lower it down to a seventh dimensional frequency. Now, if all of you guys were to disappear into light, light, you guys would freak the shit out of each other. You guys would be driving around down the road and people see ghosts and wreck cars. For me, I have a planetary consciousness of 12 great grand central suns, five of which have been blown up. In that moment, humanity was annihilated. For me, I can spot anything. See, I can disappear. Let me see if I can change the angle of this and show you guys what I mean. Mariana, I know you're listening. Can you come help me for a moment? Can you see that? Can you see the blue outline here? You guys are blue beans. I don't know if you could see it. The DNA within the vessel of Linda holds the DNA of the very first atom of DNA that made the first, very first DNA strand. And, and I know, and I know to to you star seeds that it's exciting. I understand how cool it sounds. There is only your Akashic records because you were moved into not just a different broadband frequency, but you were taken through a wormhole that was, was not expected. Well, I can guarantee you if there's scientific proof that says this is true, there's scientific proof that will say that is not true. Again, Duality, and that's how you guys get get trapped. Outside of the limitation, honey, I shrunk the kids, which is the story you guys are living. And so for me, my battle has been with humans because humans cannot accept anything except what they see. The only difference is, is you're coming from this and we're coming from here. I hope I make sense. Absolutely use discernment. I'm not asking you to believe me at all. I don't care one way or the other. So when I say I'm coming in as a, person, a personification, I'm coming in specifically to untangle information. There's a third of the population that has avatar robot bodies. Your guys' moon is an artificial construct. Validate anything I say within and you'll find out that, that I'm accurate. I'm not saying that I'm right, wrong, true, or untrue. I'm, you'll find I am accurate. Just out of the blue, something started to occur to my vessel. Outside of these skin suits, there used to only be one language. Pluto 
which stands and represents for peace, love, unity, truth, and oneness. That's what Pluto stands for outside of your human realms. You have no wisdom about it, so shut the fuck up. Not even your intuitions are correct until you're fully aligned. You are the dark that I am battling. To you guys, this is a problem. For me, this is the greatest miracle that was ever created. This is Tesla technology. I'm battling dark within every single one I come across because, well, you can't be a galactic commander because look at your body. You can't be that. Go smoke some more packs of cigarettes because your voice is masculine. You know how many people tell me that I can't be an ascended being because I don't live in a mansion and show my riches? You're a demon, Linda. That's false light, Linda. And it's like, okay, we just put on skin suits and cloaks ourselves because you guys judge us so bad. Feel free to leave if you guys don't resonate. But even resonation is your own separation because you attach emotion to information. And when you when you look, it's it for me, it's destructive watching y'all. It is it's heart wrenching. The focus of how you all get distracted, if you will, right? is that you make it about people. That's literally what you have to do is tell your mind to shut up because your mind is information that attaches to out here. So you have to be the one to tell your mind to shut the fuck up. Just tell this to shut up. This is always gonna make you choose. But the second you get butthurt, the second you can't see the reflection, the second that you get defensive or offensive is the second you've, you missed your lesson, your initiation, and you're going to lose. You guys couldn't handle it if we took off these cloaks of skin and showed you disclosure. And as you go walk through your frequency stair steps and you learn how to feel all over again because you really don't know how to feel. You guys know how to be emotional. Disclosure is already here. It's just, we have to cloak ourselves in skin suits. You know, people have come to my house. 95% of them have demonized me. You know, you might hate me this year, but you know, in five years you might be back saying, Linda, I'm so sorry. I see it all the time. <laughs> To you guys, you want to leave form. You guys want to be ascended. You just want to go back to being light and, and love and this, that, and the other. However, there's no life or living in that. Um, the crystallining process, diamondizing process will, is going to be complete for all of you. Um, spring of 2023, the spring equinox. So for me, I'm constantly in a battle of different fragments because I'm trying to put a cosmic egg back together that's been shattered. And I'm, as you guys wake up, from my angle of perspective, as you guys wake up and you anchor your light into the electromagnetic grid, it lights up more entanglement of the web that I can untangle, if you will. So now back to my walk-in experience. It was the very, it was the most incredible, beautiful experience. For me, coming into a human form, I drive a starship. If you drive, try driving a car in a human world when you're used to driving a starship that has everything in front of you. You mean I have to try and drive on this? It is much more fun, but first you have to recognize the matrix programming so you guys can truly return to a place of fun. I hope that makes sense. Have a great day, guys. So much love and blessings. Bye-bye now.